The 2009 Horizon League Baseball Championship game was a rubber match between UIC and Wright State as each team had notched one victory against the other in the earlier rounds of tournament play. This game featured stellar pitching from both clubs. Wright State's Alex Kaminsky left the game in the sixth without surrendering a run while UIC's Chris Kovacevic kept the Raiders off the board for six plus innings. Ultimately, Kovacevic got into some trouble in the seventh and turned things over to Derek Miramontes. Wright State's Corey Tweed got the scoring started in the seventh with this single through the left side. Casey McGrew scores from second and the Raiders led 1-0. UIC would bounce back in the bottom of the eighth, however. Michael Shum pitching for Wright State and Brett Schaefer slashes one into right field. Andy Leonard comes around to score, tying the game at one apiece. Later, same inning, Ty Rubio laces one down the left field line. Brandon Harwell scores, but Schaefer is cut down at the plate by McGrew, ending the inning. But the damage was done, and the Flames led 2-1. to one. The Raiders down to their final out, tweet at the plate once again, and delivering once again. That base hit scored Tristan Moore. We're all square at two, and heading to extra innings. Still 2-2 in the top of the 12th when the Raiders had finally had enough. Moore lines one into the gap in left center. Aaron Fields trying to score all the way from first. A huge collision at the plate. Stephen Humble can't hang on. Fields is safe and Wright State back on top, 3-2. to two. It's now 4-2 in the 12th. Ryan Ash adding to the offensive outpouring in the inning. Right back up the middle to plate two more Raiders, making the score 6-2, to two, and that was all Shum needed to finish it off. A fly ball to shallow right. Fields comes over to make the catch, and that is your ball game. After a two-year absence, the Raiders are back on top of Horizon League Baseball, knocking off UIC, Six to two. The feeling in the dugout was that if we can get to the next pitch and get through that inning, then you know eventually our bats will start heating up and we'll we'll score some runs. The situations I was put in today, I I don't doubt that anybody on our team would have would have done what I did, but you know I was fortunate enough to be in that position. So I want to say something about Corey Tweed. You talk about someone who's been the underdog. You talk about someone who's been knocked around. You know he didn't play any last year. He wasn't supposed to play any this year. He totally wasn't going to play. He said. I will come out and I will make you play me, and he did, and he struggled early, and he, he's been the second half of this season, he's been the MVP, and he carried us, and I felt like I was out there with him, and it didn't get any tougher than that, it didn't get any tougher than the game on the line, the season on the line, and it's your, you know it's your last ball game as a senior, that's tough. It's just about these guys, I mean, these guys worked hard, they went through a ton of adversity, but they stayed together, and so to see them get rewarded and, and celebrate, that's, that's the most satisfying thing you could have.